Hello, everybody. Shabbat Shalom to you. Shabbat Shalom, Rachel. How are you? Shabbat Shalom. I'm great. How are you? Wonderful. How is the weather in Chicago? It is very cold. Oh. Yeah. I thought this was like the, the magic few weeks of the year. Yeah, I think it's over. We, uh, oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah. But well, it, it is just getting nice in Arizona, and you are welcome anytime. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, including in the dead of winter. We don't have a winter, but we'd love to have you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so come on out. And so welcome, everybody. I'm glad that we are here uh, through the High Holy Days and now tonight beginning Sukkot. Tonight is Heir of Sukkot that we get to uh, celebrate together and enjoy Shabbat together as well. So I hope you have candles at the ready. We will light them together shortly. Uh, before we begin, though, I would be remiss not to say thank you uh, following the High Holy Days. Thank you to the members of the Temple Emmanuel community, uh, both uh, um, official members and wider who were with us. Thank you for taking part and contributing in all the ways that you contributed. Um, thank you also for your forbearance and patience with us as uh, we stumbled through putting them all online. We appreciate that. I want to thank the entire Temple Emanuel staff and lay leadership, um, especially Jennifer Legrand and Dan Schwartz, who did all the AV for us and videography. We are all deeply appreciative to you, Dan. And I also, I'm not sure what that note is. Um, so let's just turn ourselves to Sukkot. Um, uh, because here in, uh, in Phoenix anyway, uh, it marks that summer is uh, really on its way out. Uh, temperatures are becoming much nicer and we get to enjoy the outdoors again. So it is a good time for Sukkot. Since this year we are not building a Sukkah here at Temple Emanuel and many of our families are not building Sukkot in our own homes, instead Let's build Sukkot in our minds. Let's figure out how we build something fresher that serves us, that is uh, better for this new time we're experiencing. Um, let's plan it and dream it and vision it together. That is how it happens. Together we build a better world. So over to you, Rachel, as you take us into Olam Chesed Yivane, we will build a better world with love. Olam chesed yivane Yalalai, 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 yalalai Olam chesed yivane Yalalai, 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 yalalai Olam chesed yivane
Rachel, as you were singing, I got the message that your bandwidth was low, but I could hear you just fine. Right. And I thought, what a um, fit statement that is for absolutely all of us, whether our literal internet bandwidth is low or just our capacities are depleted right now. Um, I think that might be the statement of the season. Your bandwidth is low. <laughs> Let me share these thoughts. May the door of this sukkah be wide enough to receive all who hunger for love, all who are lonely for friendship. May it welcome all who have cares to unburden, thanks to express, hopes to nurture. May the door of this sukkah be narrow enough to shut out pettiness and pride, envy and enmity. May its threshold be no stumbling block to young or straying feet. May it be too high to admit complacency, selfishness, and harshness. May this sukkah be for all who enter the doorway to a richer and more meaningful life. And now it's time to light Shabbat candles. As these Shabbat candles give light to all who behold them, so may we by our lives give light to all who behold us. As their brightness reminds us of the generations of Israel who have kindled light, so may we in our own day be among those who kindle light. Please light your candles along with us. With three circles out and in. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Asher kitshanu b'mitzvotav V'tzivanu Lahad likner Lahad likner Shel Shabbat Amen. Sukkot is a festival of the outside, the out of doors. And uh, these next pieces, all of which are part of Kabbalat Shabbat, the introduction to Shabbat and drawn from Psalms, remind us of the glory that is the great wild world.
sing it much higher. <laughs> Here we go. It's the perfect song for Sukkot because it sings of the palm tree, the tamar, and of course the palm frond is one of the elements in the lulav.
Teach me, O God, a blessing, a prayer on the mystery of a withered leaf, on ripened fruit so fair, on the freedom to see, to sense, to breathe, to know, to hope, to despair. Teach my lips a blessing, a hymn of praise, as each morning and night you renew our days, lest my day be today as one before, lest routine set my ways. And now, Chatzi Kaddish. Amen. Bechayechon of Yomechon of Chayde Chobet Israel. Bagala Bagala of Isman Kari Vimeru. Amen. Yeshme Rabba Mevarach. Lealam Lame Amaya. It barach, it barach, fish tabach, it bar, it romam, it nasse, it adar, it ale, it alal, shmeid kudisha, brichu, le elam in kobir chatav, shirata, tush bechatav, nechemata, damiran belma. Amen. Would you rise, please, if you're able to do so for the Barchu? And have a seat. Day 
Everlasting love you offered your people Israel by teaching us Torah and mitzvot, laws and precepts. Therefore, Adonai, our God, when we lie down and when we rise up, we will meditate on your laws and your commandments. We will rejoice in your Torah forever. Day and night we will, we will reflect on them, for they are our life, and doing them lengthens our days. Never remove your love from us. Praise to you, Adonai, who loves your people Israel. Baruch Ata Adonai, Ohev Amo Yisrael. Would you rise, please, if you're able to do so, as Rachel leads us in Shema. Shema. Israel Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Baruch Shem Kevod Malchuto you can be seated. We continue with Vea Hafta. Vea Hafta et Adonai Elohecha, the whole of Avcha, the whole of Shecha, the whole Meodecha. Vea you had a varim ha ele. Asher Anochi Mitzavecha Hayom Alevavecha Veshinantam Levanecha Vedibarta Bam Veshivtecha Bvetecha Uvlechtecha Vaderech Uvshoch Becha Uvkumecha Uksartam Leot Aliadecha Vehayu le tota fot bain e necha Uchtav tam al mezuzot betecha Uvi sharecha Leman tis keru Vasitem et komits votai Vitem kroshim leloechem Ani adonai eloechem Asher hotzeti etchem me eretz mitzrayim liot lachem lelohim ani Adonai elohechem. Sing the song of men and women joined in understanding and respect. The song of God's miracles and earth protected and cherished a gift for our children and the generations to come. The song of a land once ravished by war, now quiet and content, her soldiers home to leave no more. The song of a world redeemed, the song of peace. Ashki
Amen. It's time for the Amidah. Would you rise, please, if it's comfortable to do so? We will offer our Amidah in silence, the time of 10 breaths. If you'd like more time, please feel free to pause the service and to resume it whenever you are ready. And then Rachel will play us all back together. Adonai sifatai tiftach ufi agita hilatecha. Adonai open my lips that my mouth may declare your Isa goi el goi ere, lo yilmedu on milchama, lo isa goi el goi ere, lo yilmedu on milchama, lo isa goi el goi ere, lo yilmedu. Oh, man. 
It's time to offer Misha Berach. We are this evening praying for the healing of Daniel Barish, Jerry Bernstein, Antoinette Caputo, Denise Chandler, Sandra Chin, Martha Citrin, Don Cole, Jorge Contreras, Mark Eggleton, Liz Fairman, Susan Fiore, David Foreman, Ricky Lynn Gans, Michael Glass, Corey Gustafson, Emily Harris, Carl Herman, Tirza Haywood, Beverly Jones, Helen Kaplan, Bella Katzen, Stephen Katzen, Jeffrey, excuse me, Jeffrey Keen, Mel Kessler, Stephen Loeb, Daryl Lerner, Nancy Levy, Francine Locks, Nancy Marks, Andrew Marks, Aileen Matlow, Jerry Mavranak, Brittany Maxwell, Stephen Messer, Jennifer Mills, Audrey Muscali, Jessica Novick, Leticia Pangunpalan, Ronald Peck, Roberto Pereira, Roz Perlman, Barb Raviol, Howard Ragwin, Sue Rubin, Lori Sellis, Marion Shack, the Sharma family, Sarah Schwartz, Meredith Singer, Jane Sinkin, Roger Sosha, Gerald Trachsler, Linda Trachsler, and Lucy Wright. Let me ask you to share with us the names of others you are thinking of. And of course, we include in our prayers all who are hurt and ailing today from whatever ails them, and especially those who are sick on this day from COVID. And we include in our prayers the President of the United States. May they all experience a refua shlema, a complete healing of all that ails them. Misha Berach. Amen, indeed. Well, no sooner does Yom Kippur end, the final echo of Tiki Agidola faded to nothing, the first few bites of challah washed down when we pick up a hammer and nail and start building a sukkah. It's the first mitzvah of the year, and we always run to do a mitzvah lest we forego it altogether. How entirely odd. Don't the rabbis know that we're still basking in the glow of a day dedicated to prayer and repentance? Aren't they aware that we are tired and hungry? Yes. And their answer to our holy fetching? Get to work. Get busy, they reply. Time's a ticking. 
The new year isn't new anymore. What have you got to show for it? They understood human nature. They knew that no matter how lofty our intentions, we are creatures of habit. I'm done with caffeine, I tell myself every Yom Kippur, and then I order a latte the next morning. I'll exercise, I'll call my mother, I'll be a better person. We all make those pledges. And then so often, poof, we take the out clause offered us by Kol Nidre. Our vows are not vows, our pledges are not pledges. And we go back to being the people we've been despite our lofty goals. Life isn't lived in white clothes. And so we are instructed, get busy. Pick up a hammer and nails, grab some wood and shach. Break your routine by doing something out of the ordinary, building a hut of all things. Break your routine by doing something new, dining and sleeping in it. Mix it up by inviting people over. Get out of your house, out of your literal comfort zone to get a new perspective on life. Now, while your intentions are as fresh as an etrog. But there's more. It is no coincidence that the first effort we're to take is to build. All Yom Kippur, we tear ourselves down. Ashamnu, Bagadnu, we say, dressed as for the grave. I am but dust and ashes. At Sukkot, we build ourselves back up. I'm capable, we remind ourselves through our actions. I'm capable of creating something where there was nothing. I'm capable of physical work. I don't need strong, a house of strong walls and air conditioning to protect me. I can be outside exposed. I can meet a challenge and thrive. And if I can build a hut, maybe I can build a better life. For all its festivities, Sukkot is an intensely personal and spiritual holiday. It resounds with inner meaning, but it's a communal one as well. It marks Zman Simchatenu, the season of our rejoicing. And the huts recollect both our collective wanderings in the desert and the harvest season, when we'd camp out by our fields, hoping for enough to feed our families. Sukkot acknowledges uncertainty. Where are we going? Will we get there? Will our needs be met? And it does so together. Because we know that the best way to face uncertainty, difficulty, is together. So tonight I renew the call I made at Rosh Hashanah. The call for you, for us, both to envision and to work towards a healthier world. The call to pivot rather than to sink. If you are concerned about the environment, join the Sierra Club. Take a stand against destructive copper mining in Oak Flat, our own backyard. If you're moved by global poverty and human rights, rights violations, visit American Jewish World Service, an organization, organization I support in every way. Read the stories on their website and see what they do. Tell me if you want to get involved. Does racial justice matter to you? Workers' rights and the income gap? Reproductive rights, anti-Semitism, hate crimes, immigration, gun violence, health care. So what specifically are you doing about it? If you're concerned about our democracy, volunteer as a poll worker or ballot counter. I did. I'm taking November 3rd off from work, and I'm going wherever the Secretary of State assigns me to staff a polling place or to count ballots. Pledge to vote through the RAC, the Religious Action Center of the Reform Movement. Whatever your issue, whatever your cause, find a group 
and get involved. Donate. Write to your elected officials. Now's the time. Forwarding memes and messages on Facebook does not actually move the needle. Action and donations do. Change is daunting, whether change in our personal practices or societal changes. For most of us, the ways we've lived pre-COVID were profoundly comfortable. We may like the idea of change, but also fear giving up some of the privileges we've grown accustomed to. Sukkot reminds us that we can forego a bit of comfort and be just fine. We can forego some of the comfort we've grown accustomed to and be just fine. So, unless you are perfectly happy with the way our world has been going, and our country has been going. Take a lesson from Sukkot and get to work. Build something better. Shabbat Shalom. It is time for us to offer Kaddish Yatom. So let me share with you the names of our loved ones that we're remembering especially. Peter Bregman, Richard Schroeder, Larry Sauer, Bill Diefenbacher, William Spinrad, Ronald J. Goldman, and Ruth Bader Ginsburg, who died in recent weeks. And as a community, we mark the yard sites of Pearl Arno, Beatrice Berkowitz, Benjamin Bienenstock, Lucille Kurland, Lillian Feinberg, Sharon Glincher, Norman Goldberg, Edward Goodman, Stephen Goodman, David Jack Gordon, Kenneth Henderson, Rosalind Horwich, Michelle Judson, Julia Marie Cannell, Carl Lou Kaufman, Benjamin Linsky, Helen Marmelstein, Rita Melamed, Elizabeth Menno, Evelyn Ada Newman, Matilda Re Riesenfeld, Jeanette Ringler, Anne B. Ritt, Paul Root, Harry Rosenman, Marjorie Joan Rossman, Leonard Louis Sachs, Adolfo Schifter, Etta Shufru, Ruth Schulak, Phyllis Story, Michael Felix Tottenkoff, Charles Vol, Shoshana Weinstein, Marvin Weiss, Paul Yonkowitz, David Usum, and Samuel Zerden. Who else are you remembering tonight? If it is your custom to rise, please rise. Yitgadal ve yitgadash shemei rabah, ve alma divra chirute ve amlich malchute, ve chayechon uv yomechon uv chayedecho beit Yisrael, Agala uvizman kariv ve imru, amen. Yehe shme raba mevorach le olam ulme o maya. Yet barach vi ishtabach vi yet paar, vi trumam vi yet nase. Vi yet hadar, vi yet ale, vi yet alal, shme de kudsha, ruihu. La ela min ko birchata vishirata, tush bechata venechemata, ta amiran be alma vi imru, amen. Yehe shlama raba min shemaya. Bechayim aleinu ve al kol Yisrael ve imru amen. O se shalom bimromav, hu ya ase shalom aleinu ve al kol Yisrael ve imru amen. Zichronam livracha, their memories are blessings to us. If you are standing, I'll invite you to have a seat. And to remind you that we observe Yizkor, a service of remembrance during Sukkot. So whether you join for services tomorrow morning from 9.30 to 10 and Torah study from 10 to 11, or you light a remembrance candle in your own home and take some time to remember, that's entirely appropriate during Sukkot. I also want to share with you some of the things that Temple Emmanuel is doing for Sukkot. On uh, Saturday night, 
there is a concert and Havdalah held by Zoom, and you are most invited to join us. And on Sunday evening, we are having Sukkot stories, stories for Sukkot, uh, targeted for adults, um, with some professional storytellers, each telling a story on the theme outside in, inside out. For both of those, I hope that you will pour yourself a glass of something refreshing and ideally sit outside or at least open a window to enjoy the, or the, the big doors if you can, to enjoy the spirit of the season and get reacclimated to uh, being outside. That is what Sukkot is all about. You can also go take a walk and uh, enjoy the flowers and the cooler air anyway. Next Friday night, we are observing Simchat Torah as a congregation, and we are doing so in partnership with Temple Emmanuel of San Diego. It's going to work differently from the way Shabbat has been working, posted on YouTube. It will be live on Zoom at 6 p.m. We are having a Kabbalat Shabbat service, and then we are doing a, a metaphoric dancing with the Torah and passing the Torah around and around, the three rabbis, me and the two rabbis from Temple Emmanuel of San Diego, are each teaching a passage of Torah that we most especially love, and it will be chanted as well um, as we celebrate the conclusion of the reading of Torah and its beginning again. Sukkot marks the turning of the season, both of the year, of course, and also brings us into awareness of the changing seasons of our lives. We read the book of Ecclesiastes over Sukkot, that is Kohelet in the Hebrew, and it contains the immortal words, turn, turn, turn. So with that rendition, uh, that uh, version by the birds, let's conclude this uh, Erev Chag Sukkot and Erev Shabbat service. Back to you, Rachel. <laughs> Everything turn, turn, turn. There is a season turn, turn, turn. And a time for every purpose under heaven. A time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, a time to reap, a time to kill. Is a season to
When I was a boy and I heard that passage, I did not understand why there could be a time to refrain from embracing. But as I taught at the beginning of this pandemic, now I know. So I wish you Shabbat Shalom and Chag Sameach, everyone. To Rachel, thank you so much. Thank you for uh, praying with us tonight. Shabbat, Shabbat Shalom. shalom.